it's such a privilege to be here. Uh, the quarantine has definitely affected us all massively. And as a musician, uh, it's affected us as musicians a lot as we've lost the one of the best gifts that we have and that's to share music in front of a live audience. And so to be here today to play for all of you is uh, really special and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So as I was saying, I'll, I'll, I'll speak a little composer, the piece of work, what I think about uh, either of those two, and yeah, uh, hopefully it will be fun. Uh, so the first piece I'm going to play is by Johann Sebastian Bach, uh, and when I was thinking about what I could say about Bach, I came to like a standstill, as there are a million and one things I could say about Bach, and then I try to see a connection between the situation that we have now and Bach. And I remembered a story that one of my friends told me a long time ago. And when Bach was around 20, he set off to walk over 250 miles from Arnstadt in Germany to Lübeck, which is on the, all the way on the other side of Germany. Uh, he wanted to do this because he was looking for inspiration. And for me, that's a, that's a long way to look for inspiration. But if there's any Bach listeners out there watching today, I think we can agree that he found the inspiration. So I'd like to play three movements, the prelude, the sauerbrand, and the gide from Bach's third cello suite in C major. <laughs> Thank you. 
among cellists, Alfredo Piatti is known as kind of the Paganini for cello. Like Paganini, Piatti wrote Caprices, 12. I will play his last Caprice. Um, I really like this Caprice because I don't see it as like any other Caprice study or etude that us musicians have to play. It's, it's really a special Caprice. There are just so many more characters to explore, so many colours, and I really enjoy playing it, despite the difficulty. So please enjoy Piatti's 12th and last Caprice. <laughs>
be a good idea as I have inspiration, Spanish inspiration, allow me to play some in Spanish. So the next piece I'd like to play is by Gaspar Casado and uh, he wrote a solo cello suite and I'd like to play the first and last movement, the third movement uh, for you. Um, I think when Casado was writing this piece, he was uh, trying to put the the embolism of Spanish guitar playing onto the cello. So I will try to play like a guitar. Thank you. 
326 people in the room who just want to say thank you all the 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 chats going on have been these massive claps and i want to express our gratitude to you to future talent we raise money for charity for future talent futuretalent.org so if anybody has any spare cash we'd love to receive anything from you but will thank you so much that was just magnificent and we loved every bit of it. You gave us hope. You gave us that inspiration after a long day of ups and downs as we hear about, you know, the challenges for our industry and you took us into this wonderful, optimistic um, 
So well done on you. Congratulations what you're doing. And I hope you get back to Britain at some point, although I'm sure you're enjoying Spain. I am. Yes. Thank you very much. No, it's been uh, an absolute really enjoyed it. Excellent. Thank you so much. And uh, keep up with your good work. And uh, good for you. I know you've been practicing a lot for this. Um, you've been, uh, and, and, and being brave as well. So good on you and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And thank you everybody. Thank you for, for being with us. I think the, the events now closed time left says zero. So I'm probably not even on the screen, but, uh, thank you to all my team. Love you dearly. Thank you to all my friends. In the industry, it's been 12 hours of fascinating. What a fascinating day. And we look forward to our next one. We'll keep the communication going. And uh, thanks to everybody.